So with this movie, I was wondering, like, what message do you hope audience take away from the film regarding the rehabilitation program and second chances? Well, the message I would like to put in the take is that um, we are not the sum of our mistakes. And we have value still and we can contribute to society if you allow us. If you allow us to give to the communities that we damaged before, mm -hmm. then we can make the world a better place. Okay. What was this whole experience like for you? Was it like a, a positive experience, an uplifting experience? What did you take away from everything? What I took away from this experience is that there's more inside of me than I ever thought. That, you know what I mean? I, it's so many capabilities, so much things that I can accomplish that but for this program and but for this movie, but for this experience, I probably would never be t living up to my fullest potential or even wanting to live up to my fullest potential. So you touched on something that really resonated with me right there. So I'm curious, you know, I can't imagine, but I, I would guess that you had a lot of choices or a lot of different directions you could have went. Yeah. Who was the unsung hero of your career? Like who, who was that? Actually, it's my brother, Devon G. Yeah? He don't want to say, but if it wasn't for him, I would have never met, came into this program. I would not have been accepted by the brothers of this program because of how I was living. Okay. I wasn't to be trusted at the time, but he trusted me. You know, and it changed me. It changed everything. It changed the trajectory of life by being trusted, by being by somebody being able to trust me. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. Right. I appreciate it. Human beings in prison, but there are programs that prisons do have if those programs are created for the purpose of actual rehabilitation. Our program is called Rehabilitation for the Arts, and it was created in New York City in a prison called Sing Sing. I'm one of the founding members of that program. And what we really did is just took theatrical arts. We took creative elements like art and writing and various other just creative skills and began to use it as teaching skills, the teaching the visuals, the teach skills. And so when they walked out of prison, they would never come back. They would walk out and become assets to society instead of you know, liabilities. And uh, we have a 3% recidivism rate in New York City for anybody that gets involved in this program and successfully goes through the program, they just don't come back to prison. Yeah. So we are basically creating public safety through just community, brotherhood, love, compassion, fellowship, because those are the key elements that RTA, you know, expound to the people that come amongst us and within our circumference. It's just basic love, man. What you say? First off, Brooklyn. What up? So I'm here from New York as well. Okay, Brooklyn night. Oh yeah, That's yeah. Awesome. I made it. I made it here. Um, mm -hmm. next thing I was wrong. So I wanted to ask this film. It was actually filmed in on site in Sing Sing, right? Or at least seen to yeah, exactly. It was filmed in Sing Sing. What well, we we filmed it in a decommissioned prison. Actually, we filmed it in downstate, but we did like mm -hmm. side shots at, of the actual Sing Sing. But it was filmed in a uh, actual prison. So I'm, I've been told by others that, you know, it's a traumatizing experience. Was there any particular scene or part of the movie that was difficult to film or revisit at all? Well, for me, it was difficult because, first of all, I did 25 years in prison actually for a crime I didn't even commit. If you look at the movie, you'll see that there's elements of that in there, which this movie also touches on the issue of wrongful convictions because they happen quite frequently. And we know why they happen because of a series of uh, issues. But for the most part, for me, leaving prison, getting out of prison, and having to put back on prison garb and go back into a prison, was very traumatizing. It was almost like I had to be debriefed after going through that because it is, it's just traumatizing. It brings back so many, you know, bad memories. And it's just the nature of, you know, having to reflect back on places you just don't want to go back to. So to end on a positive note, you know, doing this program, doing this, uh, uh, creating it, becoming the founder, I'm just curious, who, is, and I'm asking this to everyone, who is the unsung hero of your career? Like, who is the one who was in your corner when you needed it most? Oh, my mother, man. Mama Duke was my number one supporter. She never let me down. She was 100% there. And uh, unfortunately, I just recently lost her. Right after this movie was filmed, I just lost her. So she never even got a chance to see this movie. So my heart is shattered by the fact that she couldn't see it when she was my greatest supporter. 
she was that number one person that would never let me down, man, and fought for me to finale despite the fact that, you know, she was old and was going through things. She just was tirelessly there. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for sharing.